Hi, it's Jeff. And Denise from MouseSteps.com. And this is episode number 503. 503. Of Mouse Steps Weekly. Sponsored by MEI Travel and Mouse Fan Travel. We're talking all about the Sky Princess. We sailed with Princess Cruises and really had a great time for a week. And a bonus. We we actually sailed with the owner. Of oh, yes. Uh, yes. Becky herself was on our cruise. We got to have some meetings with Becky. Yes. And uh, you got to check out her uh, Vista suite and such. So we are, uh, well, check out MEI and Mouse Fan Travel because they are cruise specialists. Head to their website and fill out a no obligation quote. And before we even talk about the cruise itself, we're going to talk about our Brightline experience. And this is the second time we've been on Brightline in the last number of months, uh, both times in premium. And we start with a premium lounge. Yeah, it's it's a really nice way to start the day. There's all sorts of of uh, snacks and drinks. If you wanted alcohol, they even have a, a, a Taps, uh, pour yeah. yourself uh, alcoholic with wine and beer. And you have some fruit here, some snacks. We didn't want to have too much though, because in premium you actually get more food on the train. And we were heading to Fort Lauderdale, so we parked over at Fast Park, um, which is right near the airport. Um, took the shuttle over, and then. It's, it's a only, short walk over to the station. We right, really recommend them. Right. And it's about, a, I love the fast park. Uh, it's about a three hour trip to Fort Lauderdale and really just so convenient. Yeah, you can see we're just kind of ramping up. It's not quite as fast as the uh, high speed trains we've been on in Europe. You can see you get little snacks and then you have a full lunch also. So uh, yeah, we were we were fed quite well this day already <laughs> before we even got to the uh, Fort Lauderdale area. Right. And the food's pretty good, I think. And, and you know, you can have uh, wine and beer and there we can show the wine that we that I had. Yes. You had and beer. also you, we had uh, you had this one as yes. well. And uh, Fort Lauderdale, we had a beautiful hotel overlooking the uh, harbor here. The Hilton Fort Lauderdale Marina, which is extremely close to Port Everglades. Yeah, if it wasn't for the bridge, you could walk to the ship. I mean, we're talking really close. Right. But I think it was about a five minute drive over via like Uber. Yeah. Is, I yeah. think what we took. Extremely convenient. Here we are. We're in the terminal now about ready to uh, board the Sky Princess. And this is our first trip with Princess Cruises. We have never been uh, with them before. We have sailed with the Carnival Corporation on Carnival Cruise Lines many times. This was completely different um, than anything that I have done as far as cruising before. But, you know, even though we had, uh, you know, a little different welcome, not not that different. We still have a character <laughs> here, Stanley the Bear. What a, what a, I was uh, very happy to start the day with uh, and, meeting Stanley. And, and I just want to say that, you know, we had a bunch of like Disney bloggers essentially with us. So Stanley has never us. had such attention. Yes, he probably <laughs> has not. Because we're used Look to, at that you know, smiling all these characters. Face. <laughs> and Stanley, and I looked him up, was introduced in 2017. So he's still relatively new. And there is that beautiful chandelier. And the banners are out to uh, welcome us aboard. There's a lot of dancing going Already. on. Already. Yeah. Already. Yeah. Even with the welcome aboard. And guests are dancing uh, really every every day. The atrium was hopping. Yes. And now we're going to take a look at the Vista Suite. Our friend Becky, actually our travel sponsor from MEI Travel, was on board. And she uh, agreed to let us take a little video of her suite here. And you actually got to got to go in. I, I didn't see it in person. But here we are looking at it. What did what did you think when you walked in? It's very nice. It's very it's it's very big. It's very only spacious. one room though. So if you're looking for a multi room uh, setup, you know you just have the the main room here, and then you have what I really like is the walk around bathroom. And we'll take a look at that in just a minute. And we're going to also look at the mini bar setup, which is uh, in case you want a little vodka or something, you know that's over there. <laughs> there it is. Looks and, nice. And also there's enhanced turn down service, and also the. The sofa that we had looked at pulls out to a bed. And I will take a quick look out on the balcony. We have some uh, very nice, comfortable chairs here, a lot of room to spread out. And also they have, uh, she had this little table with a couple of chairs. So um, really a nice, really a nice setup for the balcony. And you can see here how, how big it goes. I don't think when we walked outside, you could tell uh, kind of that size. Right. And I really like this bathroom. It's huge. It's got a tub. The fixtures are certainly, it's more modern looking than ours. Um, really just, you know, looking at this, I'm a little jealous, uh, but really <laughs> It nice. is an amazing, it is truly, mm -hmm. for a cruise ship, it's, huge. it's unbelievable for a cruise ship. And the shower, look at this, I mean, tremendous. So you get the tub and the shower, which is, and it closes and everything, like you'll see our 
bathroom later, like we had a very small shower with a curtain. Um, really, like it feels like half of the stateroom here is is the bathroom. Yeah, well, yeah, that's what I was saying. The bathroom is a big deal. And you see how it comes out like a full circle. So, all right, now we're going to talk about one of the best aspects of this whole cruise is the medallion. Right. And I've never used anything quite like it where you can walk up to your stateroom and it just unlocks. It knows that you're there. It shows your picture and it unlocks the door and you can just walk in. Amazing. There were a couple days where we had to tap, but then it got back on track. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but, you know, it still worked. It just... But when it does work well, like you could be walking down the hallway, you're close to your room, and all of a sudden you hear that that click. Yes. And it's like, oh my gosh, the door opened. <laughs> and it feels familiar. It's very much like a magic band, and there's good reason for that. Because John Paget, who is CEO of Princess Cruises, developed the magic band, but then they sort of took that and uh, took it further. And we actually got to talk to him in person mm -hmm. uh, as we got on the ship. So that was uh, very, very interesting hearing all about the development of, uh, of the medallion system. Right. And just, you know, they just want you to not really be thinking about um, the cruise. You know, you don't want to have to think about it. Like you don't have to want to think about even opening the door. You just want to have it open for you like when you approach a bartender they'll say hi jeff how are you doing you know i love that and they never and you, said that to me well i went I to <laughs> a lot of more bars probably than you but i mean <laughs> other times oh and we're, by the way we're just taking a look at the at the room while we're talking about all this but uh, and another thing i really liked is we're going to talk about the uh premier or premier premier, premier package yes we had the premier p package there is also a plus package so we're on our balcony right now uh, while we're talking about that. Uh, and this is, we have the obstructed view, which has a lifeboat in front of it. This is a 41 square foot balcony, a 233 approximately square foot stateroom. And this is our balcony, which I was very happy with. It's not as big as, you know, Becky's, but it was very comfortable there, for there us. There are advantages to being on a lower floor uh, for, for certain things. And I like being midship because mm -hmm. you can get everywhere easily. I really liked our location. Our location for me was excellent. And we're looking again at the uh, how when we both arrive, there's our pictures and it opens the door. So once again, showing a little bit more of the medallion. I really, I really like that. And I, earlier I was saying, nobody said hello, Jeff, to me. That's what, that was oh, a funny that was part. a little humor. It was a little Aha. humor, but nobody said, said hello, hello, Denise. No, no, I didn't get that either. I don't think I got that either because a lot of times I was in the stateroom when I was ordering anything. Well, let's talk a bit more as we uh, were sailing away here. Let's talk a bit more about the Premier package, which we both loved, starting with the internet. You know, you get with the Premier, you get up to four devices. Each person, which I've never had anything like that before, neither of us needs four devices, but two each is perfect for the computer, for the phone. And now we're, you know, we didn't have to swap on and off, which we always do. It on was a tremendous. Like it was just like being on land as far as that aspect of it. No worries as far as the internet. Like if you get Princess Plus, you get one Wi-Fi device, uh, I believe, per person. And we're just looking at some of the uh, sailing away entertainment here mm -hmm. on deck. There was a big sail away party, and uh, and this is what we're looking at. Yes, and the Princess Premiere is at least at this moment eighty dollars per person per day. Um, and Princess Cruises did invite us to the cruise. I don't know if we mentioned that earlier, but they invited us. Of course, yes. Um, but Princess Premier is what we would, when we book it next I can't time, imagine not booking it. I can't imagine not having it. I mean, even for drinks, you get up to 15 drinks at, at $20 drinks, yes. value uh, per drink. But we didn't drink. We didn't even go close to that. Right. But there's so much value to the Princess Premier package that I would not not do it now this is our first stop this is princess keys is that how yes. you say it? princess keys and this was denise's favorite ride of the cruise she loved the tender i the did tender boat back and forth it was great from uh, from our ship I, the yeah. sky princess to uh, princess keys which is the private island i and i said i wish i had done it again now waiting for it can take a while but we tried to not wait for it like we didn't get there first thing we went on off times we tried to go on off times but now i kind of wish we had done it a couple of times because you're not paying extra <laughs> for this I, I don't ride think you, can you stay <laughs> on maybe you can stay on know. go back and know. forth i'm sure they would love that and right now we're looking <laughs> at you know with the princess uh the premiere package you also get uh unlimited your, digital photos yes and three uh prints per person 
And I thought that was really nice. It was very nice. What was it? Three or maybe three each. Oh, three each. Okay, that's yes. why we have six. Yes. Gotcha. So the island is beautiful. As we're looking at some of the uh, some of the video clips I took, they add, and what's good about this is with the premier package, there's bars on this island, and you can order drinks, and it include it's included with the princess package. And we were taking the Eastern Caribbean. This is the only location that allowed for that with um with the premiere package but that was it was really nice and they also gave us a clamshell um on the island so which we really enjoyed i wasn't sure what i would expect but it had a really nice shade i'm all about the shade and then we could go, you know, I'd go get a glass of champagne or something to enjoy in the clamshell. Right, right. And I think I said princess package, but I meant premiere package. Yes, early. premier. Princess Cruises premier, premier package. package. That's yes. correct. So, uh, and we're just taking a look at uh, at the private island. I thought it was very, very nice. I, it was very relaxing. I enjoyed my time here. They had food that you had. Um, again, they barbecue. had a, a barbecue. Like barbecue food. Typical uh, island fair. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and again, they had a number of bars. And they also had a number of the little private houses. What are, they, what are those called? They're those like little... a little cabana type. Cabanas. I don't know if that's what, I don't remember if that's what they they're, call them. I think there they are. There right. are the cabanas. But I, I preferred the clamshell. I did Because too. those houses, the little, uh, let, let's say bungalows. There's not a lot of shade. Yes, right. bungalows, bungalows. I believe that's the name for them. There is no shade. Uh, and Unless I... you're inside. Right. But what's the sense of that? I kind of like the clamshell where you had shade, you had the, you know, the sand. I was happy with it. And a nice view. It was great. And here, and they have a little area where you can climb the stairs and go up high and get a view. And this is uh, what we're looking down at now. And, and I'm sure um, the bungalows are, are nice too if you're, if you do want to go inside. But for us, we, we really enjoyed that clamshell. So here Denise's we are. favorite ride once again, yes. the tender back to the again, ship. Again, I, I wish I did it, you know, going back and forth just one more time because I, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was very comfortable. And at the end of the day, there was a pretty long line. So we just sort of hung out on the island. Enjoyed the island and just caught the last uh, the last cruise back to the ship. Enjoyed some of the water. They give you, you know, the free water and just enjoyed that until the line went down. Yeah, it was, it was great. Mm -hmm. So uh, as we are getting to the ship, do you have any other thoughts mm -hmm. on the island? You know, it's a pretty, I don't want to say basic, but it, it, it is what you would expect. You you know, it's beach and water and everything, and uh, and I enjoyed it. And speaking of uh, private islands, it just happens to be on the same big island as the uh, Disney Cruise Line, their uh, the Lighthouse, Lookout, or Lighthouse Point. Lookout, La Lookout Key at uh, Lighthouse Point is right next door. Like, I think it's, you know, like if they allowed you to walk it, I think it's walkable between, I've read in the past that it's walkable between the two. I don't, probably not walkable now, but previously. So we're sailing uh, right by that. And I do have a separate video where I got some really close shots of that. I couldn't resist because we were just so close. Right. I didn't see a lighthouse. No lighthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so I just thought that was funny. And I just I just thought it was interesting how cl really close. I knew it was close, but really close. So back on the Sky Princess, we're just taking a look at the deck. You could see not a big crowd, not a million people in the pool. It was kind of like this the whole time. It was very relaxed if you wanted to use, here's the pool in the back area. Not, uh, not overpacked. Well, we didn't have almost any kids on board. So it was almost all adults. This and, is true. This is and, a good point. And that really changed how... Uh, the pools were as far as not being that busy. I didn't think anything seemed that busy most of the time, except right. we walked through the casino. And the that casino seemed, seemed very, very busy. That was really busy. We yes. didn't spend much time, uh, almost no time only in the walking, casino. Only walking through. Speaking of walking, this is the walking track. We did spend some time up here. Uh, you know, you definitely want to take advantage of walking and moving around because they do feed you pretty good yes. on the uh, princess ship i'll tell you that right after dinner we would go for walks um up at up night there yeah I, I thought it was really nice it can get very breezy though so if you have your dress you have to be very careful <laughs> well here we are uh, having just a little this is from the buffet this was lunch on one of the days and you could see very nice you have some shrimp here you had some chicken 
and uh, I had a red stripe. I have to say, the variety of beers available on this ship was even better than expected. I mean, they had various beers, depending on what bar you went to, kind of themed where you were, and all of it was included on the premiere, the Princess Premiere package. Unless it was over $20, and we only saw one beer the whole cruise that was over $20. The that was Chimay a, Blue. a Chimay Special Belgian beer, right. And uh, we just walked by a jacuzzi, nobody in it. Yes, we've, we've seen that quite a bit, actually. Yes. Even we use the jacuzzi. We never can use a jacuzzi on a cruise. We did it at least twice. Yes, and I really enjoyed that. And I wanted to mention also the buffet. Um, I've heard you know mixed reviews of it, but I actually really liked it. <laughs> you know, there was a lot of variety on it. And I was very happy, especially in the mornings for breakfast. There was a lot of fruit on, you know, apples, kiwis, oranges and such. And I thought that was really, really great. So now we're taking a look at our San Juan day. This is one of your favorite uh Favorite shore excursions? No, it was. It, it was. It, it was yours. It right? was my favorite shore excursion. I love going to San Juan. It's just. It's a, a really nice island. I love that you just get off the ship and you can just kind of walk around. And that reminds me. That kiosk reminds me of Paris. Right. It was kind of funny that you asked our guide and she was looking at you like you had three heads. Paris. <laughs> what do you mean? There she is. There's our guide right she there. She was great. She was an amazing tour guide uh, and really kept us moving. And we're looking at, it's like a... The cata church, uh, catacombs. They yeah, call it the catacombs right, under one like, of the churches. Yes, that's what I was... And then uh, really just, a, again, a beautiful city. We did a, a walk before, but it was completely different than, than this one. Yeah, that's one thing. I mean, not one repeat. Oh, my good friend Matt from Attractions mm -hmm. Magazine took that picture of me. And we also were given some mojitos and some, uh, and some lunch. So this is kind of telling you how they make the mojitos. And she is showing us the mojitos and how they're made. And I really, it's really nice to be able to uh, learn mm -hmm. things, uh, you know, like again, about not just about the mojito, but to try uh, it's some kind of variety of food items that we have not had before. And we also had a chance to check out the uh, Choco Bar. Uh, yes, and uh, this is a very famous place, I guess, uh, at San Juan for delicious. chocolate. Delicious, absolutely it was really delicious. Good. Uh, next time I would... Next time, I probably wouldn't do any tour, and I would come here and maybe try a three restaurant. Three hours of chocolate. No, ch no, three hours of chocolate. <laughs> um, and maybe try one of their one of their local restaurants. So now it's time to reboard the beautiful Sky Princess. You can see there's champagne banners here, and there's going to be a champagne waterfall later in the evening. And I had not noticed the champagne banners, and until we received an email about this champagne waterfall. I had never even heard of it. Well, it was really fun. It was a very fun night. And, uh, you know, everybody was dressed up. This was the first formal night. And you can see the same entertainers that we saw the other day at the Sail Away are out now. And they're kind of getting the crowd ready for the waterfall, the champagne waterfall. And everybody was given champagne to toast with. Yes. And uh, so the ship's captain and officers introduce themselves. That's what's, you know, going on out here. And then they do like well, a champagne waterfall over these glasses. And then everybody like takes pictures and such, but we had dinner. Uh, we actually had not, our dinner was already in, in session. And look at this. I mean, they really pour this out uh, pretty good to fill up all those champagnes. But you're right. It was more of a, uh, after this, it was kind of like a uh, photo op because mm -hmm. everybody was all dressed up in their uh, formal attire. And we're going to see there Stanley. There Stanley. <laughs> Stanley. Even Stanley <laughs> made an appearance. This was the second time we saw him and, and that was it for the This was trip. the best time though because we got a great picture together with him and mm -hmm. we are dressed nicely. So it was very nice. There he is. And yeah, we were again on our way to the catch with Rudy, but stopped for a photo with Stanley on the way. Now this, the catch by, by Rudy, Rudy is a, one of the highlights for me. It was a wonderful meal. We had a great group of friends that were on the ship as well, colleagues. So it was really fun to, to kind of dine with everybody. And also the food was amazing. I love lobster and the star of the show with this was lobster and I had triple lobster and we'll talk about that in just a minute and you ate a lot of lobster on the ship and i ended up eating a lot of steak which i normally do not eat as much steak as i yeah had. a lot of filet filet a mignon of, you yes. don't get that uh, every day and i don't get lobster every day no, so that's it was, good. Uh, they are very generous with the uh, lobster mm -hmm. on the sky princess at least on our cruise so i'm just kind of uh, taking a look at some of the they have this kitchen a show kitchen An in open the center kitchen, open right. kitchen and i was looking at these lobsters and uh one 
of the the chefs or maybe it was the the manager. One of the manager noticed so he came over with some water and he's showing you don't get fresher than this these lobsters are still alive uh, here look at this yeah you that told me that later lobster oh. denise didn't like to <laughs> You know, I don't I don't eat seafood actually, so that was actually a surprise to me. But that they they are very fresh, very fresh lobster. Yeah, you don't get much fresher fresher than that. So, and one thing I liked about another thing I liked about this place was all the serving bowls and everything. Look at how nicely uh, themed everything is. It was great. All most of this stuff ended up being on our table. So it was, and actually being used for things. So it, this was stuff that uh, I appreciate. I like mm -hmm. themed dining like this. I, I mean, even down to like little um, cups and such, like we'll see that in, in plates. Right. And this is for like a garnish for the bread. Right. It's and like it's, a spread. Yeah, it's I like a spread. a spread. But I like that I'm kind of showing, here's the water bottle here. You know, you're pouring it from a fish. So mm -hmm. that is uh, pretty amazing there. And I think you had a little version of that fish for your uh, salad dressing. We'll see that yes. in, a, in a minute. I, I just thought that the, the plates and such were beautiful. <laughs> there it is. And, and that's your, I think that's my your salad. salad. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, just a, a pretty much a, a basic salad, but very nice. And you had some wine, I see. I see uh, other various wines that looks like uh, very familiar up there. Well, I, Lou had the Whispering Angel Whispering that Angel, I knew. Very famous. So uh, we're looking, this was my uh, appetizer and it was a lobster appetizer. And you really enjoyed having, like you had how many lobsters? Oh, that's right. You had three lobsters. Well, this was a lobster tail, but it was with, uh, I think it was lemon. There was lemon sauce and, and uh, it, it was, was a marinated lobster tail. It was called tail of citrus. I was just tail looking of citrus. it up. Yes. Yes. Um, and you can see it's like, it looks like grapefruit next door. Yeah, it was, it really went, uh, went well with it. A longestine. This is our good friend Lou Mangiello, by the way, making this <laughs> his longestine uh, perform for us. He said it was very good. He also had the salmon. I see some shrimp down there, for some scallops. See the um, the spinach was was excellent. The so. We had never, I had never even heard of a longestine to my knowledge until, until Disneyland, Disneyland Paris, Paris right? Or, you know, just a, like a month ago or a month and a half ago. And so now I feel like we're seeing longestines everywhere. And uh, so... Surf and turf. We each order the surf and turf. I do not eat seafood. So somebody else had to have my surf. What a shame. I had <laughs> double full-size lobster tails and the uh, filet mm. thanks to uh, Denise, who was very nice to me and uh, and gave me her lobster. So it was so delicious. Everything was delicious. But uh, I was in my heaven because three uh, three different lobster elements to my meal with filet. It doesn't get much better than no. that. No. And we've been home a month. Oh, you did have one lobster tail and that was at Epcot. But it's not like we're eating lobster all the time now. My uh, belly is still <laughs> showing the appreciation. <laughs> still working on that part. So uh, you had the, um, is it Mozart's berry composition? Uh, like a berry souffle. Yeah, that's uh, there it is. And I'm about to show the inside of the souffle. It was very... Uh, it was huge. It was, well, it was it was massively huge. I shared it with the, with the table. There was so much food because we did like four specialty dinings. And those are, would be, I believe, I don't think it was called profiteroles, but that's what that would be, like little cream puffs with the, um, with the chocolate and everything. That was not mine, but it looked really good. And I think mine was called Rudy's Artistic Face-to-Face -face, uh, Triple face Chocolate. Face-to-Face. Tri triple <laughs> Chocolate Truffle, which was very nice. And I kind of went a different way. I went for the cheese and it was very nice. I also shared that, but it was nice to have some cheese, just like when we go to uh, to France for our uh, dessert. Cheese and the And the, the souffle. Yeah. Well, I, <laughs> it was for sharing, per, yes. for research purposes, right. of course. It was uh, there spectacular, was a lot of food. Uh, spectacular dining experience. I highly recommend it. Right. We, we really enjoyed the, the catch. And the, of course, that evening, you could see us again on the walking trail. I don't know if it did much good, but we uh, made the effort anyway to do many laps that night. It was, uh, yeah. I mean, it's nice that they have it. And, uh, and then you can get a little exercise up here. So now we are at Amber Cove. Amber Cove, we had a very nice day at Amber Cove. We In the went Dominican, to, uh, Dominican Re Republic. Republic. And we went to Ocean World. And I really wanted to try the dolphin encounter. I always wanted to do the swimming with the dolphin. So I finally had a chance to do it. And I loved it. I had a great time. Got to swim with the dolphin. Got a lot of pictures taken. Denise took some nice pictures of me as well. It was a, a really fun day. And it wasn't just the dolphins. 
you also had shows. We had a fun time in the, with feeding the birds. Mm-hmm. They had a bird sanctuary as well. And uh, it was just a, a very nice, nice day out. I will say Ocean World it, like it's right on the right on the water. It's just such a beautiful location. It's gorgeous. It was absolutely and it, and it was a beautiful day as mm-hmm. well. And we bought some uh, Dominican Republic coffee. Yes. So uh, we still have to make that now that we're home. But and uh, San Juan coffee and you San Juan can... as well. That's right. So uh, I enjoyed it. I thought this was uh, one of the best times I had. Really fun to finally be able to do that whole dolphin experience. I enjoyed that very and, much. And I did a smaller, like an encounter. And, and Because was... you don't swim in deep water. So you did mm-hmm. the encounter with the dolphin and you got to feed them and, and all of that. So that was very nice. And so we are, are we on our way out? Now? Yeah, but what a beautiful island. It is island. beautiful. I just wanted to kind of show how gorgeous this island was. We don't usually go on deck when we sail away, but because we felt it was just so beautiful, we both went on deck and uh, and experienced the sail away from uh, from a perfect vantage. From the t- we found out that the mm-hmm. track was a great place. And another reason we like the track is that the day before this, when we were on a different island, you spotted Grand a whale. Turk. We both spotted yeah. a whale on Grand Turk. And well, I saw it first. I'm like, what is that? You know, and you know, like there were people taking whale watching uh boats but excursions we, yeah right and we just saw it from the ship and i was like if i had known i could do that i would have <laughs> stayed on the boat all day and just looked for whales um because i just love seeing them out in their natural uh habitat it, it was amazing and it was I, I i still can't believe that and you know we didn't really get any pictures of it because we did not expect it to happen and of course after when we had all our cameras ready we never saw the whale again mm-hmm. but at least we got to see them the the couple good times and i you know san juan was my personal favorite shore excursion because i just it's a city that i feel like i could visit and, and spend several days at but the amber cove and, the, you know, it's just so beautiful. The yeah. Dominican Republic is so beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it really was. I, I enjoyed that uh, very much. So we did build up a bit of an appetite after uh, doing all that uh, after all that yeah. sightseeing. So we went to Alfredo's. This is a composite of two visits to Alfredo's. But we ended up loving this. This was a really, really nice addition. And it was also included with the uh, premier package. Right. Uh, it's some place that does cost otherwise. I think they have a set menu for like fourteen ninety nine, but if it's if you have the Princess Premier package, you get it unlimited uh, to come here. The food, the pizzas were really good, and you can get like half and half. You don't have to only get. And yeah, we're going, once, we're going to uh, to demonstrate that fact, and we're taking a quick look at the menu. They have a very nice wine selection, also all included with that premier package. We took advantage of that. You had some wine. I had, I believe I had a Peroni, right? Which is a Italian beer. And so I had, I've tried a couple different uh, items ahead of time. I had the minestrone one day. I had the salad one day. Both of them were really nice. We tried both desserts. And then we tried um, between the two of us a few different pizzas over the course of a number of days. And we are going to see all of it starting with the uh, Peroni there. But the pizzas are pretty big. Like we could just split a pizza. So that would be something like if we went on, you know, on board again, I might do that. Um, But the salad was very fresh and at really a decent size. And it's just nice to be able to say, oh, I'll have a you know a glass of wine, and that's included with the package. It was such a relaxing experience. Mm-hmm. I mean, we ended up having a nice seat on the, the min- window. The minestrone was really nice. And Ronaldo, the manager, was above and so beyond. great. Above and so beyond. So great. My favorite, um, I don't know if you call him team member or team whatever, member. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the whole time. And here you have some ham and I, some pineapple. That's the Hawaiian pizza, I believe. You just, uh, we, were, we were seeing the margarita before. This is a half pepperoni and half seafood and look at the the close up here so delicious oh boy this is making me hungry right now and you know it actually works really well together and you have shrimp and you have uh, all sorts of other uh, seafood a little calamari it was delicious and i got uh, the first time i got they called it a margarita but just a cheese pizza but then i got vegetables and i thought that was better and then just the desserts both desserts one of them was a tiramisu uh, i don't have it in front of me what this is called but the it's they were both, both delicious, really both delicious. The tiramisu, though, was absolutely outstanding. I loved it. I thought it was a great dessert. I enjoy. I enjoyed both. And now, right across the way from that, we are going to look at Ocean Terrace uh, Sushi. Sushi. Well, yeah. By Takashi. So, uh, I'm sure, that, I think, 
you probably have that right. So um, there's sushi and probably a few other items. I, again, I don't eat seafood. I don't know too much about sushi. Well, except once you again, eat it. with the themed beers here, we had the Sapporo. It's Japanese beer. Kind of goes with the whole uh, sushi thing. It was uh, very nice that they offered that. And this is included. This is included in the premier package as well. It would normally be an extra fee. fourteen. I think fourteen ninety nine mm -hmm. again for that that the plate of right. uh, sushi. A nice, fresh, delicious sushi. It was uh, it was uh, perfect for me. I enjoyed this experience very much. And you were very nice to sit with me and not eat anything because Denise doesn't eat sushi. And that's okay. I had a glass of champagne. You can see that across the way. Um, writing in my notebook and everything. Yeah, you know, you're not going to be hungry very long on this uh, Princess Cruise, I'll tell you that. But next time, maybe I would use some of those fitness classes and not just the, the walking track because those are also included with the Princess Premiere. So we'll see next time. So you just saw uh, this is sort of the adult area, although really the whole ship feels whole, like an adult area. The whole ship was an adult area, but this is a special area that... It's a little quieter. It's called the sanctuary, yes. and we were uh, they had a reserved a uh, time for us each day. So uh, this is one time where we were able to go up and enjoy some time in the sanctuary. Right. We didn't have a lot of time because we had shore excursions on four days, um, but it was nice to finally come up here. Uh, you know, they have a special menu. This does cost extra. I, I enjoyed this, and I, I wish we had done it maybe even one more time. Uh, but you know what? I'm glad we did it the yes, one time because too. it was the last day and I had been asking you, you really got to see this because I saw I went and explored the first night. We were said, not planning to stay. Right. We were just were coming in to take some photos, a little video. And then they're like, oh, you want we have the, the chairs for you. Do you want to stay? So we were there like two hours. Yeah. Well, our good friend uh, uh, Jackie Roseboom, wife of Matt from attractions was there we saw her and it was like oh join me so before you know it all mm -hmm. of us are up there ordering drinks and food and then and it tea. was time for tea time so uh and we're going to show a little bit of uh, what the tea time is that was the menu for uh for lunch or i guess you mm -hmm. just snacks and, and lunch and the lunch was different there than in other places i didn't think it was as good the the lunch for what I could order, but you can order other items on the app with that. But the, the tea ocean time, now. the tea time we're looking at was better than in the dining room, right? Because dining room also on sea days also offered a tea time, but it was uh, I thought it was nicer here on the sanctuary. I thought it was um, in the dining room. It felt it didn't feel like really tea time. It felt like they were just sort of putting. To, it wasn't as nice as like the Carnival Cruise or for tea time. But up here they actually had a nice little teapots. Like it really felt like. A tea. Yeah, it was. Uh, I thought it was, it was nicer it, than the dining room. Very relaxing. And this is something you will not do: is walk over this glass. So no. you're looking straight down at the. Uh, I don't want the, to do that. At no. the ocean, but I thought that was uh, very nice. And so we're going to talk a little bit about some of the other entertainment on the ship. There is various shows on the ship. We didn't get a chance to see very much of it. I did see more of it than you. The first night there was a rock opera. We saw a little bit that looked really good. Um, before I went to, I did go to an Elton John impersonator show and I stopped at uh, Vines and I got myself this uh, specialty drink. Of course, I don't remember what it was. <laughs> Vines is very popular on board. Like it was always busy and in some place we really didn't. I did not go to. So you were really tired and went to bed early. I went to this show with uh, my friends Matt and Jackie just to check it out. It was in the Princess Theater. And they let you bring in drinks, of course. And uh, and we're going to take a look. There is the theater. Very nice, big theater. And uh, I enjoyed it. It was, a, it was a fun show. They had another show also that we peeked in. But honestly, we just didn't have a lot of time for shows just because the way all our the dining, dining was booked and everything. So I would love to go back to on another cruise and really see the full shows. There was a Muppet. There was even a Muppet show. I would have loved to have seen that. Again, we were dining at the time. Right. So, but that... The dining was great, too. And speaking of dining, this was our favorite dining experience on the whole trip. It was the Crown Grill. It was absolutely fantastic meal. And all of that, we tried all the specialty dining, but this one, to me, was above uh, as far as the steak and such of any of them. And we're taking a look here at the menu. You could see there's quite a selection of uh, really everything you would want from a, a nice upscale steakhouse. And even a salt menu. So there's like four different I know, love salts. the salt. I love yeah. the salt. There it is, the salt uh, selection. And, and I tried a little of all three, and they put that on the side so you can kind of put your steak or whatever mm -hmm. in uh, in the salts and try them. And the desserts were amazing as well. I mean, you, you really roll out of there. And, and this is like a, a, 
I think it was like a, a garlic Parmesan uh, pull apart bread. And then they had, so they have a Camus wine dinner, but they have the Camus wines in here as well. So you can just enjoy them. And you had gotten this at the Crown Grill bar outside, the Pirate Belgian Ale. Yeah, this is a very, very good Belgian beer. Excellent beer. So it was very nice. The only place I saw it the, on the entire ship was here at the uh, the Crown. And, and that's the one thing about the different bars. A lot of the items are the same, but then you might find something else. And you scallops, have... the fresh scallops. It was absolutely delicious. It was nice to try a little something different. I have had so much lobster. Didn't yes. get a chance to have as much scallops. Although I believe this is a lobster bisque. I'm not, and I'm not sure. Like I didn't see that in the on the menu that I had looked at. But oh, and here is the yeah. surf Speaking and turf because lobster, you've not had course. enough lobster. But this, this honestly was the best lobster I had uh, of the, the whole time and I did have quite a bit of it it was really delicious and in the filet of course was delicious I the filet really was the best part it was the star mm -hmm. it was amazing right it, like I probably would do less steak on my next uh my next cruise but, but not of this I mean, no you love I this. would eat it at the crown and also a nice potato and all kinds of vegetables so I didn't have any appetizers I really went with those vegetables um, and then we're looking at the, the desserts. You had the salted caramel creme brulee cheesecake. I had the warm chocolate mousse trifle. And then we're here with our friends. There's Becky from MEI uh, Travel and then Lou. And then uh, Matt and Jackie from Attractions Magazine. And if you see Lou in person. From Walt Disney. Yeah, Lou is a big fan of a drink called the Dirty Banana. So if you see him, make sure you uh, mention that. He'll he'll uh, love to hear that. <laughs> no, that is one of their drinks. And you we enjoyed drank it. many of those I did uh, not, together. I, they are delicious. You, yeah, I did not have it. I, I did not do too many cocktails. Uh, I try to stick with champagne and and, uh, and wine. So another was well, stick with champagne and wine. <laughs> so another another nice bonus from the uh, premium package is the uh, the uh, specialty desserts here. I just call them like a crazy gelato. Like I, it's a lot. You know, I was happier just going to swirls and just getting a little tiny ice cream cone. I felt guilty because it we was left. hard. Yeah, it was hard. We, just, we couldn't eat those. It was just a, a we lot. Just, we just really wanted to show them. So we went there once. You know, those are unlimited with the Princess Premier package. But for me, I just like to have a little something. And we're just seeing some entertainment. Of course, there's still dancing going on. This was the last night. Seven days, we, you know, we could have done a, a five-hour show because there was so much that happened. But... For uh, time purposes, we're getting back on the train and heading back here to Orlando. Let's give our final thoughts. What did you think of the Princess Cruise? You know, it took me a sky little... Sky Princess. The Sky Princess. It took me a little while to, you know, really get used to the ship and everything. Mm -hmm. Because, and, and also, just that it was almost all adults. That's completely different than any other and cruise that is that not been. a bad thing. No, it wasn't bad, but it was, you know, it, it took was a while very to, different. to really settle into it. I really enjoyed the specialty dinings. Again, we did four of them. We did the three dining rooms, plus they had us do the, the Camus Winemaker Dinner. The Crown overall, for me, uh, the Crown Grill was was fabulous. And they had us me do a massage, and that was Oh, oh yeah, we didn't even well. talk we about the massage. Yeah, there, again, there's so much we haven't covered, but we're you know we're getting close to 40 minutes here, so there's just so much. It, it was wonderful, and uh, personally, I liked having the uh, mostly adults. I thought it was great as far as the access to the pools of and the jacuzzis and things that honestly normally we don't do because a lot of times when we cruise, those are uh, taken up by yeah. families. So it was really nice to for for that purpose, and the food was amazing. And and just being able to use the um, princess premiere package and, and i did say that we would get that like if we cruise with um with princess cruises on our own which i believe Plan we will do. uh i would i wouldn't even think about it because just the wi-fi having the wi-fi work for work purposes and such it isn't you know it's supposed to be among the fastest at sea but it's not like you can upload videos as easily or anything right but, but most for, people aren't there doing right, videos but right. for surfing for reading for you know, all of that for even, you know, I did some articles and such. It was, it was just so convenient. And to be able to not have to swap, uh, you know, to swap devices and everything. I really like that. And let's, you know, not overlook the drink aspect. Any, if you, mm -hmm. you don't have to think about it, if you, if you want to have a, a glass of wine with dinner, I don't have to think, oh, that's 12 more dollars plus, 
you know, like also, or a specialty coffee. I mean, right. I, a couple of times I got very nice special coffees and also know, all included with it. And crew gratuities are also the prepaid gratuities are also included with that. When we edited it all up, it was actually a savings for what we would have done. Right. And, and but also it was better than we would have done because we would have never gotten a package of Internet that was the whole cruise for more than one device on any cruise because it just gets so expensive. So that is another show. We want to thank our sponsor, um, MEI Travel and Mouse Fan Travel. I was doing um because it was Becky was on the cruise. Yes. So it was very nice to actually spend some time with her as well. And I was just about to say that was, you know, that was one of my favorite things as well to get to see her. Uh, you know, she's working, we're working. So it's not like we were, we were together all the time, but when we when we could get together and, and meet and stuff, we really It was really that. nice. Yeah. So be sure to check out MEI Travel and Mouse Fan Travel. The reason that she was there, they were doing research, more research. They're mm -hmm. seeing all the different or many of the different cruise lines and really uh, are very knowledgeable on all aspects of cruising. Extremely. I, I mentioned she's going to be cruising a lot this year, but also they just did the Universal uh, FAM uh, several days, you know, learning more about Universal because they also are Universal specialists, but also Din Disney specialists. So they kind of do it all. So next week, uh, we have no idea what we're going to be no talking idea. about. I have no idea. I don't week. know. Oh, I know. I think we're going to be talking at least one part of our show next week will be Rosalie, Denise's new favorite restaurant at, at Disneyland, Disneyland Paris. Paris. Okay, yes. We'll talk about that and then we'll see what else comes up. We we have our own travel a little bit of uh, personal, personal travel, travel right? uh, this coming week. Just a few days. But we also have just uh, visited Legoland. Mm -hmm. We saw the uh, opening of their new attraction. The Ferrari. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow I'll be, we'll be, both of us will be at Aquatica where there's a new uh, water slide. That sounds really great. That'll be opening there. We were at Bush Gardens for the food and wine, the kickoff of that. We've been very busy, a lot of different stuff. So uh, we will have a little bit of, uh, of something well, next week. maybe we'll just have to go to the parks and get a little something next Monday. Yeah, that's, or not, Tuesday. A, that's yeah. not a bad idea yeah. either. Yeah. We'll so thanks again for listening. Have a great week, and we'll see you all next week. Have a great week.